Red Man Syndrome Red Man Syndrome is a significant adverse reaction associated with the administration of vancomycin for fighting against serious gram-positive bacterial infections. It highlights the need for vigilance and proper administration techniques in antibiotic therapy. What is Red Man Syndrome? Red Man Syndrome also known as vancomycin flushing syndrome, is a constellation of symptoms that can occur during or shortly after a vancomycin infusion. It's crucial to understand that red man syndrome is not an allergic reaction, but rather an anaphylactoid reaction. This distinction is important because it influences our approach to management and prevention. Unlike true allergic reactions, which involve Ig antibodies, Anaphylactoid reactions are caused by direct mast cell degranulation, leading to the release of histamine and other inflammatory mediators. Causes and Risk Factors The primary cause of red man syndrome is the rapid infusion of vancomycin. When this antibiotic enters the bloodstream too quickly, it can trigger a sudden and substantial release of histamine and other inflammatory mediators from mast cells. This rapid release is what leads to the characteristic symptoms of red man syndrome. Several factors can increase a patient's risk of developing this syndrome. The most significant risk factor is a rapid infusion rate of vancomycin. Additionally, higher doses of the antibiotic can increase the likelihood of red man syndrome although it's important to note that the syndrome can occur at any dose. Patients with a history of red man syndrome are also more susceptible to recurrence, emphasizing the importance of thorough patient history taking before administration. Symptoms. The symptoms of red man syndrome typically manifest rapidly, often within minutes of starting the vancomycin infusion or shortly after its completion. The hallmark sign is flushing, particularly noticeable on the face, neck, and upper torso, giving rise to the syndrome's name. This flushing is accompanied by erythema, a redness of the skin caused by increased blood flow to the surface capillaries. Patients may experience pruritus or itching, which can range from mild to severe, and urticaria may appear as raised, itchy welts on the skin. Systemic symptoms can also occur, including hypotension and tachycardia. Some patients may experience dyspnea or chest pain. In more severe cases, angioedema may develop, causing swelling beneath the skin, often affecting the face, lips, tongue, or throat. It's important to recognize that while these symptoms can be alarming, they are usually transient and resolve with proper management. Immediate actions. When a patient exhibits signs of red man syndrome, Prompt action is crucial. The first and most critical step is to immediately halt the vancomycin infusion. This stops the influx of the triggering agent and can prevent the reaction from worsening. Next, closely monitor the patient's vital signs, including heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation. This monitoring helps assess the severity of the reaction and guides further management. Administering antihistamines, particularly diphenhydramine, is a key intervention. These medications work to block the effects of histamine, the primary mediator of this reaction. In severe cases, additional medications such as epinephrine or corticosteroids may be necessary. However, the use of these medications should be guided by your hospital's specific protocols and the individual patient's condition. Always consult with senior colleagues when managing severe reactions. Prevention. Preventing red man syndrome is always preferable to managing it after onset. The most effective prevention strategy is to adhere strictly to recommended infusion rates for vancomycin. Typically, the infusion should last for at least 60 minutes, allowing for gradual introduction of the antibiotic into the bloodstream. For patients identified as high risk, such as those with a history of red man syndrome, consider pre-medicating with antihistamines like diphenhydramine. This preemptive approach can help minimize the release of histamine and reduce the risk of red man syndrome. Patient education is key in preventing and detecting red man syndrome. By informing patients about its symptoms and encouraging them to report any unusual sensations during or after infusion, they can actively participate in their care, 
enabling quicker recognition of potential reactions. Take home message. Redman syndrome represents a significant consideration in the administration of vancomycin. As future healthcare providers, your understanding of Redman syndrome is crucial for ensuring safe and effective antibiotic therapy. Remember that while Redman syndrome can be alarming, it is usually a transient and benign condition when recognized and managed promptly and appropriately. Your vigilance and knowledge will play a vital role in optimizing patient outcomes and minimizing adverse effects in antibiotic therapy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.